Happy Holidays from Alpha Omega Sin. So my gift to all of you is a story about crackheads and their desire to have a PlayStation. But to what lengths will they go to acquire such an item of gaming goodness? Well, you see, most people will do the normal. They'll, they'll save up, they'll trade in things, they'll sell things, they'll put shit on layaway, they'll wait for a price drop. But the real hardcore, the real dedicated, will snatch a bitch up from outside of her home, drag her inside, bound her to a chair with electrical cords, and threaten her, and basically just make a bunch of fucking crazy fucking demands until they get this. And when I say threaten her, I'm they, they went even more than that. This couple seriously went and bound a woman to a chair, and were threatening her life unless their demands of a PlayStation were met. Keep in mind that they didn't specify, so I don't know if they wanted like a PS1 with like a little fucking little flip screen on it, or if they want the old fucking big brick style gray PlayStation. Maybe they wanted a big fat booty PS2. Oh, th that's some nice shit right there. Maybe they want a PSP. No, that, I mean, PSP's a nice little emulation machine. Maybe they were going like, all out, and they were like, yeah, I want PS4, because that shit's like hard to get right now. Or maybe they wanted like, the big fat fucking PS3 because that shit's backwards compatible and stuff and you can put fucking Linux on it and shit and it's, oh my god that's fucking amazing right now is it but they didn't specify so, and and keep in mind I can I can make semi light of this situation considering the fact that this woman didn't actually get harmed she she got released into custody and fucking talked about it. as a matter of fact even in the article down below she commented on the fucking news story itself I'm like that's that's some shit but this is just this is straight up fucking crackhead shit. Like, th this right here is the type of shit that you see on cops in, in a fucking trailer park, okay? This, th this, oh man. So, they had her bound to this chair with electrical cords, okay? They then started shaving her head and then, like, showing video of it and sending it out to people, because that was gonna get their point across. It, they, I don't think that they've like done a lot of hostage negotiations before. When I think of hostage situations, I think a movie like Die Hard. You know, I mean, they they had their shit planned out. Except for John McClane showed up. Also, one of the best holiday movies. No shit. But I'm like, yeah, they had their shit together. But these motherfuckers are like, yo, we're gonna shave this bitch's head. <laughs> Eventually, she's gonna be fucking bald. We ain't fucking playing. It's like, okay. So then they're telling her that. We're going to have somebody with AIDS come down and plow the shit out of you. They're going to fuck you good, and then you'll have AIDS, unless we get a PlayStation. So do you want that? Everyone has AIDS! AIDS, 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 including you! You have AIDS! Unless we get a PlayStation, then you won't have AIDS. So don't fuck with us. We're crazy. We know people with AIDS, and they'll come down here. You know, five fucking bucks, and they'll be like, greased up deaf guy, and they'll just fuck the living shit out of you, and then you have AIDS. What? Again, motherfuckers just save up for this shit and just and put it on layaway and, and now we we have people saying oh, I'm gonna get somebody to fuck you who has a that is the most random fucking threat I've ever heard like, like what, what the fuck so then they, they started like force feeding her pills and shit which we don't really know what it could have been like it could have been like Alka-Seltzer or some shit or Flintstone fucking vitamins they didn't really go into any kind of details of it but it, it couldn't have been anything bad because it wasn't like she OD'd or something so they, they force fed her a bunch of fucking pills and then force fed her alcohol for a lot of people I'm just saying for a lot of people that's actually a good night so they, I don't know if they just, their hearts were in the right place, maybe they felt bad, or maybe they were just confused, they didn't know what the fuck they were holding in their hands, they were like, well this shit it seems like it could be bad, and it's like, okay, so they're doing that, and then, and then they got real extreme, because they were like, okay, well, this doesn't seem enough, I mean, I mean, we went far with the AIDS thing, I know what we'll do, so they threaten to cut her fucking head off, and then show it to her kids. So they're just gonna dangle that shit and be like, you see this? Mommy didn't give us a PlayStation, so you two little rugrats quit fucking cry, quick, shut the fuck up, quit crying, you see your mom's head, you see this shit, see, you think I give a fuck to your little kids? I want a PlayStation, I want a fucking play, that's right, PlayStation, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, well, you fucking better get me a goddamn place, I'm fucking crazy right here, mm -hmm. And I, I just think about this shit, and this this reminds me of, like, little-ass dumb fucking kids threatening other people to get shit, because it's, it's so fucking out... This entire story is so fucking outlandish and fucking retar... I mean, this is... I don't know how else to describe it other than this is just serious-to-goodness, by-the-books, crackhead shit right here. 
it, I just, I, I don't even fucking know. Eventually, the police did show up after the entire six hours, which is way too fucking long to have to sit there with two fucking people that have the I, IQ equivalent of an empty fruit, fruit roll-up box and half-eaten muffin. I, I cannot fucking grasp the notion that these people are, are not fucking crazy. They, they have to be mentally ill or fucked up on something to the point that it made them mentally ill to think that this was a good idea and this was going to go over well. Like, what the fuck did you think was going to happen once you got the PlayStation? And why the fuck would you kidnap a person and just want a fucking PlayStation? Are you serious? Most people do kidnappings to people that are, like, well off or in positions of power and stuff because they know that those people are important and they could get whatever that they want. I mean, why didn't you even ask for the fucking money? I don't... I, I can't... There's so many questions that I have about this, and it's like, it's fucking Christmas Eve, and I'm reading this shit, and by the way, I have to go and give a big thanks and a big thank you to Rich from Re Review Tech USA, because I, I was sitting there, like, watching it on my phone, and I'm like, there's no fucking way, so I go to my desktop, and I pull this shit up, and I'm sitting there reading it from, uh, from the fucking website, and I'm like, what, what, are you, are you, are you, what, what the, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> like, this shit just blew my fucking mind. It, but what, the fact that I even get surprised when I hear about this shit, I shouldn't, because I already know that human stupidity knows no fucking bounds, yet intelligence is maxed out already, but it's stupidity, that's always on the rise, and just, the audacity, and just fucking, oh my god. Uh, you know what I want for Christmas? If, if Santa is fucking real and he's going to be riding in his sleigh tonight and shit like that and he's going to leave a lump of coal, I hope he just puts bricks inside the fucking stockings and whoops these motherfuckers' asses from inside the jail cell that they're at. I don't give a shit. Like, put, put a fucking fruitcake in there, a real fucking old one, just fucking knock their shit in. That, that would be so nice. I mean, like, ride your sleigh right up their fucking chimney. Fuck them, dude. Like, holy shit. This, this I... Later on today, I'm going to be going having dinner with my family and stuff, and you know what I'm going to be talking about? This fucking story right here. And they're just going to be like, are you fucking serious? And I have to go and pull up all this stuff, and they're like, that's some fucking crackhead shit. I'm like, that's what I said! Crackhead shit, right? And I'm like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's kidnap that bitch. I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. So, anyway... This holiday season, do your very best to not try to get yourself in the midst of a kidnapping situation and then demand just a fucking PlayStation out of it and then shave somebody's head and threaten them with AIDS. And don't get the person drunk. I, just just don't don't be a fucking crackhead, okay? Just just don't be a crackhead. So for from me to you, this is Alpha Omega Sin, annoyed, confused, and just losing more faith in humanity. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on. And, you know, happy holidays and all other horseshit. Seriously, what a bunch of dumb motherfuckers. God.